Good morning. I am on my way to work this morning, and so I am making myself a decaf coffee um, with collagen and also my iodine. Um, I'm gonna add my electrolytes to it this morning. I haven't had electrolytes in a couple of days, so I'll add that today. I'm still just doing two drops of iodine right now, but I am hearing that we might even need more than that, so I might be increasing that. Grab the electrolytes. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little fatty this morning by adding some butter, but here's my electrolytes, as always. And I'm um, gonna add a little bit of butter to this. Well, when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> Open this up with my frother. It's been a hectic week because I've been at work all week. Today's Wednesday and uh, it's been a busy week. Getting up and getting out every day and taking Doc to the daycare and heading myself into the office. So this is what I'm having this morning. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, and I didn't have a very good night's sleep, <laughs> as usual. And I also um, just got up a little bit ago. I guess I must have got up about seven. So back to working from home again this week. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to go into the office one day this week. I'm considering going in. We'll see how that goes. But listen, sounds like springtime out here. Just stepped outside for a minute, get a little grounding. And also, um, of course, I let the dog out. I'm getting ready to go to work. Good morning. I am making my decaf coffee this morning. Yes, I'm drinking decaf coffee. Not every day, but some days. So I'm gonna have this decaf coffee. I'm using a brand called Pete's, which is a pretty good brand. This is my collagen peptides. And um, it's going to be a fatty coffee. My iodine. <laughs> Two drops. Got about a tablespoon of butter. And then put a little bit of heavy cream. Just a dash. We're whipping this up with the frother. I have a short cup, so I gotta be careful. So you may want to know why I started drinking a little bit of decaf coffee. Um, as I mentioned a few times over the last couple of months, I gave up coffee in October um, because I wanted to see if it would help with my anxiety. And um, I have determined that it didn't have an impact. So that's October, November, December, January, February. So. That's, I think that's plenty of time to figure out if it actually had an impact and it didn't. And I like coffee, so I'm back to drinking it. Still not having any sweeteners though, so it's just coffee with cream. Uh, I'm gonna monitor my weight and see if I have any issues with uh, the cream as far as weight gain or any other kind of, kinds of issues. So I'm gonna enjoy this coffee.
My cup says, don't be a lady, be a legend. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm out here walking the dog. And this is what I have in my hand. <laughs> trying to keep them from barking at everything. He's doing okay. He doesn't like this stick. So, just needs to get a quick walk in. I kind of want to come in and tell you guys about my last week. Last week was super challenging. I went into the office four days. And I found myself consuming some things that I don't normally consume. So, you may have noticed that recently I have started incorporating back in some, a little bit of uh, decaf coffee with cream. But uh, when I went to work, uh, they had these bubbly, bubbly drinks. Try to put a picture of it in here for you guys so you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like sparkling water. It's very tasty. It has natural flavors. So um, I had some of that. Um, also, I had some uh, like beautiful swans flying over here. Um, I had some. Um, sorry. Um, like cheese and meat snack thing. Um, I ended up waiting too long to get breakfast because breakfast was there at 9.30. I went down to have something at 10.30. And so I ended up with these cheese and meat snack things, which I don't usually like to eat those meat, processed meat, sausages and stuff like that. Also, I'm trying to think what, what else. I had some, last week I made some bread. Uh, buns and so I hadn't really been eating eggs I kind of had not had eggs since like January I guess and because the month of February I was on uh, lion diet and then when I when February when I quit the lion diet I didn't incorporate eggs back in so I I incorporated a bunch of things at once basically is what happened and well my weight showed it so I was like 148 um before I went that Monday when I went to work I was 148 pounds um last Monday and then uh by the weekend I was up to 152 uh today I was back down to 150 point eight or something like that. I'll have to put the videos, the images of my weights in here for you guys. Um so I felt felt some inflammation. Um uh, and also the weight gain. My back has been hurting a lot. Um you know I was saying that I went to the massage therapist last Tuesday and I was struggling with upper back pain and lower back pain. Uh, and I just wondered if it was really due to the inflammation from, you know, the starting out on Monday with those um, meat and cheese snack things. And then, of course, the egg whites, which I'm trying to test to see if I have an issue with egg whites. So, needless to say... I'm just keeping it real over here, letting you guys know what's what's been going on with me for the past week. So I've cut the bubblies back out. So, you know, I had kind of given up on that stuff months ago. But <clears throat> being in the office, they have everything. Like, they're providing food, and they're providing drinks, and they're providing coffee. They're providing muffins and, you know, scones and all the things for everybody because it was a big workshop. And I felt, I guess, maybe a little envious, to be honest. Like, they had Diet Coke, my favorite. 
And I thought, well, at least I'm not having a Diet Coke. I'll just have these bubblies. So I drank like three of them. Over the four, course of four days, I, I drank three bubblies. So, um, yeah, I felt a little bit envious. I don't know if it was a craving or what exactly. I don't know if I would call it a craving. But um, I definitely wanted it and went ahead and had it. So, um, that's my accountability for the day. <laughs> my accountability for the day. Letting you guys know that, um, you know, last week I had a little bit, I don't know if I would call it a slip up or a trip up or whatever, but I made some decisions that I don't prefer. So, cut that stuff back out. Um, and I have a couple of those buns left um so i'm not sure if i'm gonna eat them or not because of the egg so it's a little challenging because i was saying that i kind of wanted something bread like to have a sandwich or put a burger on and the bread that i usually make it's a carnivore bread but it's made out of egg whites and with my problem with eczema I'm not really sure that I should be eating egg whites like that so that's a thing so anyway I'm trying to get myself back down to my 148 that was like the lowest that I've gotten so far is 148 and then promptly <laughs> worked my way back up to 150s so <laughs> it was just a teaser to get myself down that low and then basically gain it right back. That's annoying. But, you know, this is the way of life. So we will be doing what we do for the long haul. And I can't say that every day is going to be perfect. So, you know, just the reality of the situation is there are going to be probably times that I might want something that's not typically on my plan. Um, but I can say this. I have not had a sweet. So I feel pretty good about that. You know, I haven't, didn't go back to drinking the liquid, liquid circulose. I didn't add any stevia. You know, I'm drinking unsweetened coffee. With a little bit of heavy cream and butter, and uh, and it's it's very satisfying. You know, I found that the benefit that I thought I would get from giving up the coffee um, didn't really it didn't really materialize. So, although. I was thinking about it. I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Chafee coming up here in a, in a couple of weeks and he'll probably convince me that I need to give that decaf up too. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see what he has to say. And, you know, I need to go back and understand the whole, I mean, I think there's molds. There is, you know, some kinds of chemicals and stuff in the coffee. Um, so, you know, this is something to take under consideration. No barking. Nope. Don't do it. It's a car. Nope. We're going to leave that car alone. He did good. He did good. It's because I have a stick. Uh, 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 uh. And I'm just like showing him the stick. Um, that was pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. I hate that I have to carry a little stick with me, but... He'll, um, he'll get the hang of it. Maybe this will help him because I've tried a lot of different things to try to get him not to bark and chase cars and stuff. And none of it has worked. So this is the closest thing to working that we've tried. So anyway, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm getting ready to go in and get ready for tonight's Meaty Mondays with the Fierce Felines where I do believe that we are going to be talking a little bit about accountability and um, having a plan and all that kind of thing. So 
Um, yeah, you guys might hear this before you hear it. All right. We'll see you guys later.